Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, it's cloudy and foggy and we're supposed to get snow almost every day this week. So I'm thrilled. Okay, let's just, let's just deal with this right off the bat. The Walking Dead. <laughs> get it right off the bat? Some of you do. Anyway, it was awesome. It was great. Last week was a little bit better, but this week was really good. So I am hyped. I've been watching Walking Dead review videos and, um, you know, all the chatter of my Walking Dead channels already this morning. And I got excited to co come and talk to you guys because I had a revelation last night. Um, you know, Honey and I were watching, wa Honey, he wasn't watching it with me. He was kind of sort of watching it. He watched part of it with me, I guess. Oh my God, with this cat. I love her, but she is insane. What? You're crazy. Anyway, oh my God, go to bed. This is how she goes to bed. <laughs> Throw her in the bed. Go to bed. Look out the window. All right. So, we had, obviously, you saw, super fun antiquing, okay? So, this is what I thought. Those lamps. I, I don't know why I thought they were $90 a piece. They were $55 a piece. Which is insane ah! and the horse i it was ninety dollars but it was twenty percent off so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen so it was eighteen dollars off so it was like seventy three dollars so um i got a you know i got i feel like i got good deals the teacups not such good deals but i was in the moment and I won't be spending that much on teacups anymore. Um, I'm going to be goodwilling the teacups. And somebody messaged me and said they had things for sale. So we're going to, you know, check that out. And if any of you guys have things for sale, let me know. The bad thing is the shipping. That's the bad thing. But my idea was, as I'm buying these antique pieces... And yes, garage sales, I will be hitting garage sales, trust me. But that curio cabinet was beautiful and it was already shabby colored and, you know, there's going to be some pieces where I want beautiful antique pieces. Um, that's going to give that space kind of that odd, odd, what's the word I'm thinking? You guys know what I'm trying to say. Authentic. <laughs> An authentic feel. Um, so, I'm going to put prices on all of that stuff. So, that horse, I paid $73 for it. I'm going to put a price of $149 on it. The lamps, got them for $55. I'm going to put $125 on those. They will be decor pieces until someone actually wants to buy them. So, it'll be an antique store too. It'll be a high-end antique store. Because <laughs> I won't want to, I won't, I'll put prices on them where I don't really want to sell it. But if you want to pay this, you can. Okay. So super stoked. <laughs> and while you're in the antique store, I'm realizing how I want my my crafty area to be because that feeling that you get when you walk in and there's so much to see all these little nooks and cubbies of beautiful awesomeness now we had Rayanna with us so we had to you know we had to we couldn't be as slow and methodical of looking as we wanted to be because we had a child with us so but that's what I want to do I want it to be 
overwhelmingly full when people walk in. I want them to give that feeling of, oh, I have to see it all. I have to see everything. Or if they don't have time to see everything, give them that feeling of, oh, I've got to come back. Because Savannah and I were like, oh my God, we got to go back. <laughs> so anyway, I have, you guys seem to enjoy this, the, the email with um, my friend John. And I sent him another email. And he, he responded. This one's a little funnier. Oh, what did I do? Did I keep it in my new? Because I knew I wanted to read it to you guys. Hmm. Yes, I did. So, I responded to him. You make me cry happy tears. Thank you. Sadly, my years as a pet care professional are dwindling down. I've been diagnosed with stage 2 repetitive motion arthritis in both thumbs. Grooming has become painful. I believe I will last a few more years, but I am hard planning for the life after grooming. I had a buyer lined up, but that has changed. Um, and I wrote this before this weekend. So things have even changed this weekend. Um, I am debating keeping it and hiring groomers and continuing on my next path, but that's not the route I want to go. I'm, uh, I am also thinking of training a new owner, but how to find that diamond in the rough. I wish my daughter would take it, but she's traveled a different road. Um, I am currently trying to secure another space in my current shopping center for my new passion, a tea room, similar to, to a Starbucks for tea with coffee, coffee for the crazy people. However, there will be lots of twists. I am planning to make it very feminine, trying to make it a destination spot for friends to meet and sip tea, have pastries and visit. Wi-Fi to do work in a place where it just feels good. Party rooms for high tea parties for little girls, birthday parties. For ladies to have parties, baby showers, wedding showers, Bible study gatherings, and so much more. Also a gift shop where I can sell my crafty creations and supplies to create them along with classes. I do always wake up happy. Because he told me, he said he wished for me to wake up happy every morning and to do what, what I want. Um, but that's because I know my Redeemer lives. I have been blessed beyond measure for 36 years to do what I love. Thank you again for your part in that. Now it's time for phase two. I will apply all those lessons I learned from you to this new venture, and I trust it will be as successful as the 36 years of grooming. God bless you today and always. Love from your far away forever friend. And he responded, Hi, Marina. I'm sorry to hear about your physical situation and affecting your business. I don't want to sound cold, but you are having a great run in the industry. I don't know how that sounds cold. <laughs> a close friend who is up on things tells me a groomer employee lasts five to 10 years in the industry. An owner lasts 10 to 20 years. You are beating the average by 100%. Something to be very proud of. More important is that you are a wise woman planning the future before it's too late. I imagine how many owners keep on working and then something comes up and there is nowhere to turn. I may be wrong, or at least I hope so. It seems you have seriously thought the new venture out and is something you would really like to do. Those are the first steps to success. A tea room is not anything I know about, except if you plan on serving vodka and club soda, and a nice red wine. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't even think about it. As far as the salon goes, you know what you want to do, and you have time to do it. Selling would be the best if you can get your price, either from an employee or an outsider. If the money would be an issue, maybe selling, but receiving a weekly income for the duration of the sale would be the stipulation. If he or she defaults, you get the salon back. Or keep it and run both businesses, which would be very taxing and maybe only last a while. But I am thinking having people to run the tea room would be easier than the qualifications of good groomers. Marina, 
I don't know. I wish it could give you a direct path for everything. But to be honest, it seems to me that you have a handle on things. Maybe not entirely, but certainly in the right path and you will find your way. That's all I have, regrettably so. I know you will come out smelling like roses. God bless, John. He's so awesome. I want to be so compelled to want him to know how awesome he is. If I knew he wasn't suffering from, from depression. And I just wished I was closer. He lives in Florida. Um... I can't remember Pensacola. It's down south. Anyway, he lives very far away, but I'd love to see him again someday. So, as far as the tea room goes, some of you, some of you were like surprised I was already buying stuff. And this is the thing. Right now, you know, I have the ability to buy some things to start. Some pieces that will be like the canvas. So like when I buy these pieces, then I know the direction I'm going. And when it's closer, and I actually need to be buying a lot of stuff, I will buy pieces that fit these beautiful pieces that I'm going to be getting now. I don't know how to describe it. These are going to be foundation pieces. These are going to be motivational pieces. These are going to be pieces that just make me want to continue to go for it that motivate me um the curio cabinet what i told honey that i want to do with that is i want to put it at my grooming shop and i want to put all my crafts in there because the place where i'm putting my crafts right now at the shop to sell um it's open and i've noticed on some of them that they uh when i go to get them to pack and ship them if somebody buys them is I have to really pull like little fine little hairs that kind of float around and kind of land on them. And that cabinet um, is all glass and the glass doors open. So things will be protected in there and they'll be displayed in a way that women that like that kind of thing are going to be even more, I think, attracted to that display. So um, the piece that I have them on now is kind of a, piece so I'm going to move that into the laundry room for storage and I'll put that curio cabinet in there for that um, I even told him those lamps would be beautiful for me to display in the shop because um, I have lots of places where um, you know the front's really big I'll try to remember to do a video of the front but I guess the other bad thing is is the hair thing I don't know I mean, I don't, don't get me wrong. It's not like things get loaded up with hair in the front of the store. Um, but, you know, little fine hairs float around and stuff. I don't know. I'm very curious what my property owner has in store for me. I just hope that it's not too quick. I, if I have a year and a half, I feel comfortable with that. But if he tries to push me any sooner, I, I just... I don't want to go into it too quickly. So, I'm looking at my teacups. The one I paid $10 for, I don't even like it at all. But, but I am going to hit. And this little teeny one, I was like, why did I even buy this little teeny one? I couldn't remember why I bought it. But, then I did remember. I am going to do a... A tea themed explosion box and this is going to be in the center let's see how 
so the it's four inches this little this one so that'll be perfect as a matter of fact maybe I'll do that next um because that matches the paper collection but right now I am working on Mother's Day cards so I have to do some Mother's Day cards because I need to get some cards listed and they're simple cards I'm doing some single fold cards for right now and then I'm going to do my fancier more elaborate cards um, um, next so this is just like a kind of get me started sort of thing anyway I still don't know what to do about this cat scrappiness thing um, I need to I need to message them anyway having some tea see I need big I need a big tea mug oh my gosh I have to go get the cabinet and oh you guys were I think there were more people that said get the cash register but there were a few people that were like no don't get the cash register I'm gonna see if it's functional if it's functional I'm gonna get it I'm not gonna get it just as a pretty it's got to be functional because I want to actually use it so super excited I'm gonna go over there this morning bye and I want to show this curio cabinet a little bit better. And it says 1800s. I'm sorry, but it's such close quarters right here. So even the, the shelves are, they're rounded out and the glass is rounded, but I'm not sure if it closes. It doesn't look like it closes. Oh, that's a, that's a super bummer. clothing so beautiful <laughs> what do you guys think of this 175 for that I don't dare because there's that thing hanging over 175. She thought it was really cool for for honey. It's a vintage tool rack thing. And look at the super vintage refrigerator. So much stuff and they're getting ready to close so I have to finalize my purchases and then I can't wait to get home and tell you about my very 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 exciting thing that happened while I was here show you a small little haul and I picked this up at Tuesday Tuesday morning yeah and it has ships on it I should give it to my husband but I decided I wanted to use this and what I think I'm gonna do is this is gonna end up being my my journal I love that it's super hard I love that it has papers that can you know come out and then on this side um, I can make tuck spots and I don't know I'm not a hundred percent sure but it was originally $6.99 it was marked down 40 percent and then it was marked down 25 percent again after that so we'll see but that was kind of my idea for that and then I placed an order with Renee Bouquets so I got that today 
and I ordered these gorgeous beads, these iridescent beads. Aren't they amazing? Unicorn's Candy, it's called. So pretty. And then this one's called Citrus Breeze. And then I got these little feet. <laughs> that sounds funny. These little baby feet. Um... So one of the things I'm going to have in my store is a section for baby um, items. And when I saw these little baby feet with the hearts in the center, I thought those would be adorable. And she gives you the little hearts that come out of the centers as well. So that's kind of cool. Kind of a nifty little jar. Gosh, it seems like it would be more expensive to send them in a jar than in a bag. But anyway... Here is her card, and on her card you get a free little item, and there is a dragonfly and then a piece of her, I think she calls it beautiful board. So, I ordered a pack of these, and these are just a light, kind of a mint green, and these are just a very, very faint blue it's hard to tell there we go kind of you can kind of tell and I ordered these prima flowers and it says there's 12 of them in there and these look so super easy to make guys like so super easy but I wanted them so I got them these two look really easy to make and I got them in pink and blue, which are the, going to be the colors of my journal. So anyway, that's my teeny tiny little haul. I do have another haul, uh, but I have to do it separate because it's from uh, scrapbooking with me. So I'll be back. Bye. See my winter wonderland. <laughs> oh, spring snow is so beautiful. trees I love it when the trees look like that and dead winter snow doesn't cling to the trees like that where they look just magical but you can see the snow was coming from this direction because this tree but look at the trees back there. They are, we're going to have a lot of broken trees around the metro area. What look like? Honey's always prepared. He takes the windshield wipers and pulls them forward. And he's already been melting his He's been running his Jeep for half an hour or so. Look how much the snow is on Maggie. You can see the trees in the background. So pretty. See that see how much is stuck to the trees and, and the ground over here, but like there's none up close to the little house porch. Um our bedroom, one of our bedroom windows. But what I wanted to show you is that tree. Look at that tree. This tree over 
here on this edge, that's our tree. And I'm going to show you that from a different window. Stop. Window on my side of the bed. And this is our tree in the front yard. So beautiful. I just love it. I love it. I can't wait to go out and take pictures. So pretty. All right, let's go look out this way. There's Rizzo. Say hi, Rizzo. Hi, Angel. And then I'm sure you can hear Domino in the background. So that's how much we got. What does that look like? Seven? Seven inches? Eight inches? That's how we always judge it. <laughs> By the railing. That is just gorgeous. Dun, dun, dun. Because we cleared out the bedroom last night, so, ew. It's not too, too bad, considering we, this is an entire room down in here, but we needed to clear it out. So this room can become beautiful and not be Dallas Cowboy anymore. We're also going to re replace that ceiling fan and my ceiling fan is very similar to that. So we're going to replace that coming up and those windows up there, we're going to take down the, the blinds and we're going to do curtains instead. Cause those look so 70s but yeah I mean you can see the water damage right and let's look out this window oh, I hear angels singing Oh, beautiful. Do you hear this cat? She follows me everywhere. She's a lunatic. And I told her I love her and I hate her. <laughs> Goodbye. Get her, Rizzo. Get her. Look how it looks over there with the sun starting to hit the snowy trees. Oh, 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 I love it. It just looks so, I don't know. For many of you know, um, I was raised in South Texas and we only had snow twice as I was growing up. And so I think that's why I am so enamored there's the lake and this stuff's gonna melt fast because we're supposed to get up to 50 degrees today so that's a little disappointing but it is what it is i washed it last night and i have not flat ironed it so here she is Ah, uh, I don't know what's up with her, except that maybe because everything's out of that bedroom and down in the living room, um, maybe she's a little weirded out and she's a little more vocal and irritating than normal. But anyway, I have my cup of tea, my giant mug of tea, and I want to tell you about my experience yesterday at um, the antique mall. So got the curio cabinet 
And a lot of people, you know, I was really debating it. And a lot of people were like, um, you should totally get it. My BFF said, don't get it. She's like, you're going to find other stuff. Don't worry about that one. When I went back and looked at it, the fact that it has, oh, shit, honey's calling. I'll be back. But tell me he got there okay. I knew he would. Um, I forgot where I was at. Okay, so I got the curio cabinet. My BFF had said, don't get it. You'll find other stuff. But when I, and I pondered on it all day, and I thought, okay, well, I'm going to look at it again. I, I wasn't committed to going to get it. So I went and I looked at it and I did the video. And when it said it was from the 1800s, I was like, I'm going to get it. And I'm going to put a serious high price tag on that thing um, as a display piece in my store. And if somebody's willing to pay, I mean, like, 1800s? That was so worth $2.99. Oh, my gosh. The other thing is I walked in. The first thing I did when I walked in is there's this huge counter where people, you know, check out and stuff. And I told the guy, I was like, hey, I need to look at that cash register you have and find out if it works. And he goes, oh, the brass cash register? And I was like, yeah, that one. He goes, oh, somebody bought that a couple of hours ago. Mm. So when I did finally check out, there's a sign on the, the cash register area that says, I wouldn't go home and think about the item that you want because yesterday somebody went home and thought about that same item and came back and bought it before you got here. And I was like, okay, I learned my lesson. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to get a storage unit and I'm going to start buying pieces as I find them without worry of where I'm going to put them. And if it's a good deal, or if it's something that I just can't live without, which the cash register, I really felt like I couldn't live without, um, I'm going to buy it. And I'm going to put it in the storage unit. And one of my concerns is that there's no revenue being generated from this adventure. So all the money that's being put out has to be paid from other things. So I called my accountant and she said, because I told her, I said, I'm going to put that curio cabinet in my grooming salon and I'm going to put all my craft items in that cabinet um, to display my craft items in this beautiful showcase. And she goes, oh, no problem. She says, then you can um, let the shop buy it, tax deduct it now, and when you go to open your store, the tea room will have to buy it from a paw spa. And then you could text deduct it again. <laughs> awesome. Now, the other thing that happened yesterday when I was at the antique store was I had seen a baby stroller um, that I wanted, a vintage baby stroller. And I didn't get it because I got the horse and I just thought, mm, yeah. But when I didn't get the cash register, I was like, okay, um, well, that's $600 I saved, so I'm going to go ahead and get the vintage baby buggy. So I went and I, I had gone up a bunch of aisles, and I went and asked the lady. I was like, mm, there was a vintage baby buggy here yesterday. Did you sell that too? And she goes, no, but there's another guy in here looking for a vintage baby buggy. Come on. And she, like, chucked it up this aisle, and she goes, is this the one? And I was like, yeah, that's it. She goes, okay, I'll put it up front for you. So I'm like, I keep going, you know, and I'm like kind of, just checking it out because they're getting ready to close. And I could hear them talking to the guy. And he had found another vintage baby buggy that was a little bit smaller. It was still, it was like for a doll, but it was for a large doll. And the one that I had originally wanted to purchase was a buggy that was, Rihanna pushed it around and it was, perfect for her height and everything so it was larger um anyway so 
he goes, oh, here's one. And he goes, he, well, he goes, I found the smaller one, but I need one bigger. And then he saw the one, the other one that I had that was up there for me. And he goes, oh, here's one. And he goes, oh, they go, oh, I'm sorry. This lady already brought that up and she's taking that. And he's like, oh, we'll switch them out. She'll never notice. And everybody laughed. And I was kind of coming down the aisle and I went, I'm keeping my eye on you. And he goes, would you be willing to switch with me? What do you need yours for? And I said what I needed it for. And he was like, well, I own a theater and we're having this play and I need this vintage buggy really bad. And I, I went over and I looked at it and I was like, oh, I really like the bigger one better. And he pondered for a second and then he said, what if you let me buy the bigger one and I'll buy you the smaller one? I was like, really? And all the people there were like looking at each other like, wow, this is hardcore. And I looked at it and I said, well, I said, I don't need you to buy this for me. You know, I can buy it. I said, but I really do like the bigger one better. So if somebody was going to tell me I had to pay $90 for the bigger one or I can have the smaller one for free, I'll take the smaller one for free. So he was like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And he bought me the buggy. So I'll show it to you. I'm going to take it to the shop and I'm going to use it in the display window um, with the dog in it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I got some other stuff. Let me show you. Hold on. And I got this the other day at Tuesday morning. I forgot. And I got it in the hopes that I have a back porch, like garden area, um, in my tea room. And when I told the property owner what I wanted to do, he told me he had a plan and he knew what I wanted. But if that doesn't happen, I asked Honey. I said, Honey, would you build me like an indoor deck? Like the flooring was like a, one or two steps up and build like a deck and maybe like a gazebo over the top. Not like a full roof gazebo, but, you know, kind of like an open gazebo where I can put some beautiful silk flowers and it can feel like outdoors. He's like, oh yeah, I can do that. <laughs> so I got this at Tuesday morning. <laughs> this part's not so great, but I love it. And Savannah was like, mom, 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 get it. So what do you think of this? So I got that the other day. I got these. Look at these guys. And they have design. See the design? Super pretty. And I had gotten something. Where is it? I had gotten this at Goodwill a while back. So it has three different places. And I thought I know it'll cover up the design, but I kind of thought about altering the plate and then doing one, two, three, and then having it hanging, putting more laces and trims on it, and just making it super gorgeous. So I got those plates for $3.99. Tell me what you think of this idea. I mean, I would make it very shabby. I think it would be really pretty, but give me your thoughts. Um... Savannah wanted this hat, and she couldn't afford it. It, it was $22, but when the lady rang it up, it rang up. Oh, this is what happened. We looked at this price, and Savannah was like, oh, gosh, I want, because I told her. I was like, Savannah, look at the hat, because she had a hat like this when she was a kid. And then when it went, we went up to the front. It rang up $8.99, so I did think $22 seemed high for them. And then I got this for Rihanna's, for Rihanna's house. I mean, when I saw it, I was just like, 
Oh, we can't leave without that. And we weren't there shopping for Rihanna or Savannah, but they got lucky. Look at that. Didn't she have to have that, right? So pretty. I can't wait to hang it outside. Okay. Obviously won't be doing it today. But I thought that was just beautiful. So yesterday, um, like I said, I did a little, oh. He never brought it in. He asked me, do you want to bring me to bring the bag that's in the buggy? And he did it. All right. Well, I got this at Goodwill. And this is just a basic table cover. But it has this nice lace all the way around the edge. And it's an oval. And... Um, it's pretty big, so it's probably like two yards, like six feet, so anyway, I got this for $2.99, oh, it might even be, oh my, so neither me or the checkout lady could find the tag on this, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Because this is not what I paid. Here's the tag. And we couldn't find it. So she asked one of the other ladies. She's like, how much for this? And the lady goes, ah, $2.99. So yeah, I got this $6.99 tablecloth. So, and yesterday I went to Goodwill. I went to a different Goodwill. This was ARC that I went to. I went to a different Goodwill and... Um, they had some chairs. Guys, I'm gonna post a picture of the chairs right after this video. And they're not vintage, but they kinda look vintage, and they could definitely be made shabby. So I'm gonna put that right after this video, and I want you to tell me if I should go get those chairs. They are $20 a piece, and I, I asked for a discount, because they're, their senior price is at 55. I was like, I'm 54 and a half. I'm really close. Actually, I think I'm more than 54 and a half. But anyway, um, she asks and the lady goes, okay, well, if she buys all eight, I'll give her one chair free. So it would be $140 for eight chairs. And they're beautiful. They'd have to be reupholstered because they're not the right color. But they're all, it would only be the seat because the back, I'll put the picture. You'll see. So I would only have to reupholster the seat, not the seat and the back, which to me is a bonus. All right. If I am so inclined, I'll put some slippers on and go out and get the other stuff from. Now, I'll just show you in the next video the other stuff that I got at the at the antique store. It's some doilies. I got a doily tablecloth. That's literally a doily tablecloth for thirty five dollars. And it's big. And I also got a vintage, a lady's clutch purse. And it was, it's in beautiful mint condition. Um, it's real blinged out. And it came with the vintage box it came with for $10. So anyway, look forward to that. I don't have my brace on because I left it at work yesterday. But um, okay, see you guys later. Ah, the snow. <laughs>